back to another episode and welcome to Yurunga. So we left Darlington Beach and we headed down south which was about an hour's drive through Coffs Harbour to Yurunga. So we're staying here for two nights and we're on site 66. If you don't already make sure that you jump on Facebook and follow my Facebook page Be Moju. On there I put some reels up and I also put all of the photos that I've taken and add little bits and pieces that I don't get to put on YouTube. So if you're not following my Facebook page make sure you go and check that one out. So if you're coming here to stay at Reflections Yurunga, my top sites are sites 32 to 37. They are large level grassy sites with astro turf. They offer views and some have a nice bench at the back overlooking the ocean and the pier. 40 to 50 are really nice sites as well. They are large grass sites, some with astroturf. Site 39 is a no-go in my opinion. It is on a large incline. It does offer views, but I wouldn't recommend picking that site if you can help it. Sites 115 to 119 are double shade cloth sites. They are very, very level, so they are a good option if you're after double shade cloth sites. Sites 54 to 66, they are fully grass sites and they are a little bit unlevel, so probably not my top pick if you're staying here. But if you are staying in this area, 66, which is the site that I'm on, would probably be the pick. It is a large corner block. My only recommendation is to make sure that you bring a mat with you as the park up area is a fine dirt now. There's no grass there, so it could probably do with a shade cloth or astroturf set up there to make it a little bit more pleasurable for the stay if you're picking site 66. If you're after a slab site, all the slabs are in really good condition and look very level. 88 to 94 are large level double slab site. 94 has a low tree in the back corner. 95 is a good site, but it's next to the bins, so just be mindful of that. 109 to 113 and 103 to 107 are double slab sites, but most are the dual level sites. So you have a lower level and then an upper level on the double slab with those ones. 103 and 105 have low trees over the site. 89, 96, 98 and 101 also have low trees over the majority of the sites there. 24 and 25 have a double slab with a driveway. They look like they're relatively new sites. There are loads of cabins around if you're after that and there isn't any unpowered sections within this caravan park. There are two amenity blocks within the park and there is a large camp kitchen. Also there's a TV room in there with a large flat screen TV, some gaming consoles and some books. The location of this park is really good. So the swimming area is just across from the park within a 30 second walk. The swimming area is is beautifully clear and great on a hot summer's day they have a pontoon there that you can swim out to and also a little jetty slash pier that you can jump off as well so it's a really good area to swim I was getting a little bit worried watching people swim out as far as they could thinking god a shark will get them but on low tide I discovered there is a rock wall which I assume prevents the sharks coming in to the swimming area there. So just a little note, the swimming area isn't dog friendly, but if you go to the right of the pier, it is dog friendly there. The pier is a really, really nice walk. Um, it takes about an hour round trip and it heads out to the beach and the headland there. So it is a really beautiful walk and it is dog friendly. So make sure you take your pooches on that walk. Outside of the park, there is a nice kids play area to the south and there's also one adjacent to the park across the road from the pub. The town is a minute walk just outside of the park. There you'll find two grocers, a butcher shop, a bakery, a pharmacy. There's a fish and chip shop and some cafes in there. There's also some boutique stores. There's two liquor shops and there is a pub as well. So that's all within a minute walking distance from the caravan park, which is awesome. I really, really like this park. I like the convenience of the town being within walking distance and the calm swimming area just adjacent to the pier. The walk along the pier is a really, really nice option. 
and the sites and the facilities here at Yurunga are awesome too. Next time that I come here, I'll try and get the top pick sites, 32 to 37 with the views. But if not, I'd probably opt for a slab site if I can get it next time. So highly recommend coming here to Yurunga. I really enjoyed my stay. The caravan park is really beautiful. The sites are awesome. So definitely come and check this one out if you're on the Coffs Coast. Thank you.